we'll, we'll see what comes up next. We think it's the falsetto. There it is. Uh, as you all know, the last two years we've been fortunate to have a relationship with the Indiana Children's Wish Foundation uh, in helping them with their efforts to grant wishes for children who could use a little brightness in their day. Uh, we've had uh, further had the pleasure to work with Terry Caesar Hudson in that uh, capacity and uh, touch a lot of those folks. And it's been a wonderful relationship. Uh, Terry, do you want to come up? Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for inviting me back um, tonight. I, um, I have been so honored to work with so many of you and to see the kindness and the hearts that all of you have. Um, you have been amazing, and um, you brought joy to over 50 children in this state. And that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, I came, and my plan was to come bearing gifts. <laughs> I ordered them. Uh, unfortunately, um, I had something very special designed for each region, and I think you're going to be very touched by what you'll be receiving. Unfortunately, they were supposed to be ready last week, and they aren't here yet. So, my hope is that I can give them to, to Jay, and he'll distribute them um, from me to you with hugs and a big heart. <laughs> well, I'm giving you my hugs right now and telling you that it has been an honor and a pleasure to work with every single region. I haven't had the opportunity to meet everybody, but I was able to meet so many of you. And I hope that I um, have some friendships that will last for years. So thank you so much on behalf of the children, on behalf of the staff of Indiana Children's Wish Fund. We love you all. We appreciate everything you've done, and those 50 children will always remember you. Thank you. Um, let's see now. This is the mark. Falsetta Award. Falsetti. I can't pronounce either. <laughs> In recognition of contributions to abate of Indiana State Charity. Region 4. Quite honestly, I, once again, I'm uh, accepting awards for a lot of people who have worked very hard and earned this, and I want to thank a few of them real quickly for me. Um, first off, I do want to say that where Region 4 started and where it still stays, I'd like to thank Abalafia Motorcycle Club for their commitment to the Indiana, a big Indiana state charity. Also, there's a, a group of uh, ne'er-do-wells on the north side of uh, Lafayette at the uh, Linwood Tavern, and they put together a little event that really does kind of embody what we do, and if you should make it to the showdown ride this year, you will have a very good time. You may come back with some wall ornamentation and missing some hair. And um, lastly, and I can't thank everybody, I must thank Maylene for her help and especially all. But we, got, but we got her very good last year, so thank you very much. Um, taking over from her, or continuing on from her is my protege, Jan Johns, and I'd like to thank her very much. She, she studied from the best 
young lady. She studied from the best. I expect her to do as well. Thank you very much again. The Michael Fairball Leadership Award is named after uh, the first executive director that Bay of Indiana had, uh, Baltz, Mike Fairball. Uh, we had a state director before that and we had a founder, but the first executive director was Mike Fairball. And if you uh, do or don't know, uh, under his direction is when we had our largest growth. Uh, he didn't start it, but he was around shortly thereafter. And some of the programs that he initiated are still highly successful and in use by us today and are uh, admired by state motorcycle rights organizations nationwide. So some past winners of the uh, Michael Fairball Leadership Award include Lenny Stancomb, Monkey, Cat Cleaver, Wally Mullins, Jay Jackson, Jim Gettig, Rodney Taylor, Jeff Gullickson, Sue Craig, Jim Kane, Bob Dylan, Gino Johnson, uh, Chuck Hunter, <laughs> Gary Williams Sr., uh, Rick Toy, <laughs> and this year's winner of the Michael Fairball Leadership Award, Joe Adams. In addition to uh, being a region director and having uh, Region 5 experience and growth and building areas where they had not been active or alive before, uh, Joe's been very helpful in working with the organization to get some, some equipment and uh, some services at the property, Orange County Recreational Park. Uh, he continues to be a source of inspiration and uh, infuses us with positive energy every time he comes around. So thanks, Joe. And just to explain, in case you don't know, the reason we're, we have this award, but we keep that in the office. It's like a home award, and we keep adding names to it. We give them a plaque to take back, so it's, just, you know, it's not like we're pulling away. Wanda Hummel founded this organization. Uh, Wanda's spirit is certainly... Uh, uh, an inspiration to many people in this organization and in organizations similar to it around the nation and around the world. Uh, an inspiration not only to motorcyclists but to women in motorcycling, especially at a time when that was very awkward. Uh, the Wanda Hummel Award has to go to a current region director. That's the criteria. So that narrows it down to 14 people that are eligible each year. It's a, an award that goes to a current sitting region director. Um, this region director has uh, been up here tonight, so you've seen some awards, some, uh, some growth, some success. Uh, more so, though, rather than just in numbers, uh, in, in sheer growth and development, is the attitude and, the uh, again, the inspiration is a word that keeps coming back. The worst region director I ever saw. <laughs> 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 